I am sick and tired of seeing the gurus. I am sick and tired of seeing the hate. I'm sick and tired of people telling me that there is no way that you can make $10,000 wholesaling real estate. I am sick of, frankly, people telling me that there's just no possible way out of their way of life right now. There is no way for them to achieve the financial future of their dreams. There's no way that they can go out here and become rich and successful through the power of real estate. I'm sick and tired of people saying, oh, you got to spend money to make money, brah. I'm frankly sick and tired of all of this. And what I'm here to do today is shut up two crowds today. The people that say you can't get rich and the whole thing real estate guru is trying to charge you all this money to learn this business. This has been a long video coming. This is a long presentation coming of teaching you exactly the blueprint of how to make over $10,000 every single month in wholesaling real estate. The truth is this business will change your life. Wholesaling real estate is the fastest way for anyone in the entire world. I don't care if you're virtual. I don't care if you're in person. I don't care any of that stupid stuff. If you are ready to get rich, become successful, and live the life of your dreams, this is going to be everything you need to know. What I'm going to do today is just share with you step-by-step step, how you can make $10,000 every single month in this business. And so let me, let me bring it from the top. I, I am sick and tired. And it, it really grinds my gears out here that people will tell you that you have to spend all this money and get in the wholesaling. You have to go out here and my favorite, you know, is spend twelve thousand dollars to go to the seminar, and that's how you get good wholesaling, right? You have to go out here and start spending thousands of dollars on cold callers and systems and all that, frankly, stupid stuff. When the truth is right in front of you, that there are free ways to get in this business. There are better ways. That you even if you had ten grand to drop in wholesaling, you should not be doing. It. And I'll, I'll explain it exactly why. When there's clearly a blueprint out here, I have not risked my butt out here talking smack about wholesaling real estate gurus, changing the way wholesaling real estate is being done and really the education that you need to be knowing about this business for you to go out here and not do this. I get people telling me wholesaling's hard, wholesaling's difficult. It's just not for me. That stuff drives me more crazy than you could ever even imagine. And so what I'm going to do today is systematically break down how anybody from any nation, any background, anything can start getting rich with wholesaling real estate just to make $10,000 per month. Now, let's talk about the first gripe I have. The first thing that drives me crazy. Zach, what authority do you have to talk about wholesaling real estate? What do, You're 24 years old. You just got started, little baby. I got this stuff all the time. Now, let me just, uh, let me just, you, you know, I get a lot of people saying, what do you know about this, right? And I'll tell people, you know, the deals they've done and, and all these great things. But really, what I think I should be doing for you is just kind of showing you. And I, I get sick of this all the time of people saying, no, I can't do this. This business is too hard and all these things. And guys, there are so many people that I've shown how to do this that you can do the same exact thing. So let's, let's talk about as right here, okay? Let, let, let's, let, let's do the first thing here, okay? So all people I've shown how to do this, all right? As right here, all right? This guy has done seven assignment deals in two months learning from freelancing.com and the stuff that I've taught. That, think about that for a second. Seven deals, first two months. And it's just luck, right? He, he was probably born in some crazy great circumstance. And, and, and no, he had no money. Seven deals at 23 years old all from learning how to do it for free and the methods that I teach here. And guess what? He's paid me probably $0 to learn how to wholesale real estate, right? Uh, unless he gave me a JV deal, then and maybe he, he gave me some money to JV with him. But like these people are paying $0 to learn how to do this. And it, it drives me crazy when I see people tell me, oh, Zach, it's, it's, it's all luck, man. It's all luck. That's a, so let, let's talk about Christopher here, all right? Let, let, let's talk about Christopher, all right? Let, let, let's see if he got lucky too. So uh, here's here's Christopher, all right? Maybe it's a little bigger so we can read it, right? I don't want, I don't have some 
reading issues. Christopher John uh, Olra, right? This was, uh, let's look here. He made $40,000. Say thanks to Rick and Zach. You guys are the best um, for the guidance, right? First wholesaling deal. Uh, what do you do here? Drying for dollars? Let's see. Let's see here. Yeah, you read that. Drying for dollars. Huh. Wow. Uh, I, I, I guess so. Uh, <laughs> and I'll have idiots tell me, that, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, bro. Oh, that's the wrong way to get in the wholesaling. Blah, 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 blah. It's your broke people talking to me in the comment section of what it really takes to get become successful. Oh, man, you got to spend 14 grand a month to get that kind of money. I get crap like this every single day. But the cool part is I get checks like that sent to me every single day from people like, Zach, you changed my life. Zach, you did this. Zach, you did. And so... You wonder why I, you know, I, it, it gets me mad, but like, honestly, at the end of the day, I, I could care less because I, I <laughs> checks come in every single day for me in my regular wholesaling, but the checks that you guys are making it, it's so like, I get people going out, people tell me all the time. So let's, let's, let, let's keep the, the guru hate going. Right. And, and so these are people spending no money at all. We got, we got Michael out here. Okay. Michael went out here and made. 77 grand this month learning from me wholesaling real estate. Think about that. Huh? 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 I guess this isn't a get rich quick scheme. This isn't a scheme that don't work for most people. Oh, shocker. Shocker. I uh, guess I, I'm not here to toot my own horn. All right. I, I'm not here to toot my own horn here. Who we got? We got Ralph. Six grand. He's making six grand this month doing this. Right. Like I just, we can keep going. I, I mean, we, we can go blow for blow, Mr. Guru. Like I'd love to find a guru telling me this business. Of, like, Oh, uh, uh, t t show these people I'm a fraud. Right. Who we got here? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? 20 grand, 20 grand, 20 grand. Oh, it goes Zach's a fraud. Uh, let, let, let's show, let's show another one. You know, let, was this Dante or is this another guy? I, I can't keep track of everyone. They just send me stuff. Well, let, let, let's go here. What does Dante got here? Dante. Don't think out twenty 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 thousand dollars right there, twenty grand, twenty thousand dollars, bank wire, right there. Oh, he's got another check, got another check. Wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, 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 I guess that's a loser. You don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I'm not trying to toot my own horn here. I ain't doing this, but I'm just trying to show you. You have these broke people in the comments. You got these idiots that are not making any money living in their mom's basement telling you that, oh, this doesn't work. Think about this for a second. Even if you got family members telling you that wholesaling real estate don't work, wholesaling real estate is not the best thing for you to get started out. Like we, we got people collecting $20,000 checks every single month saying, oh, actually, no, this does work and you don't have to spend any money doing this. Or you're going to listen to your, your, your cousin who, who makes $3,000 a, a month at, at, at Burger King as, a, as an assistant manager. Oh yeah, I'm going to listen to his stinking advice. Yeah, yeah that, that's the guy I should be listening to go change my life. Ooh. Guys, the the actions speak louder, okay? These are people, not spend, they're not giving me any money at all. They're just doing the work. And so I, I think it's very important for me to go show you guys the stuff and, and half of it because these... <sighs> People tell me all the time that this business doesn't work. And I just show them check after check. Go, go tell me. It. And this goes to the guru guy. Like you, you ain't seeing, you ain't seeing someone pop off three or four testimonials a day, every single day, thousands of people sending me checks. Thank you, Zach. It changed my life. No other person on the internet and wholesaling real estate can even come close to this. And so the, the, the truth is, what are your options? If you have no money, you want to get started. Tell me. You pay the guru 12 grand or you learn at freelancing.com for free. What is it? What are you going to make the change now? So if you are a beginner right now, you're broke and you want to make a change in your life, you have the choice here. You can sulk, stay broke, or make a change. I say you make the change. And so you want to know when we start in this video out, you know, I just I just want to silence any hate comments I get here of oh, it don't work, it don't work. I tried it out. It's losers. You're frankly a loser. If you go out here and you don't try everything I talk about and, and you don't get any money, you are a loser. You've lost the game of wholesaling because you went the guru path. 
And I'm trying to show you an alternate path that will get you rich. And it's, honestly, it's not even an alternate path anymore. It's the number one path. There's not, there's nobody who has a bigger course in wholesaling real estate than me. So it's technically the main path now. But I, I get this all the time. This doesn't work. It doesn't work. And I get these kids. And I, I, I'm not ranting for the average wholesaler who's already making 10, 15 grand a month doing what I'm doing. Right? I'm talking to the kids right now. You're 16, 17, 18 year old. Your mom, your aunt, your cousin, your brother, your sister. Oh, this wholesaling real estate. Don't think. Oh, don't try it, man. Don't try it, man. You know, our cousin is a realtor. He makes four grand a month. Oh, yeah. Unless you're a broke realtor making four grand a month, you want to start actually making some real dough. Okay? You want to start making some real moves. If you're ready for this, you're ready to start making some change. This is the video. This is the time. This is when we make the change. So if tonight's the night you make the change, today's the day. Let's start going into the blueprint on how to make $10,000 per month. Hopefully, they got you a little jacked up for you to start doing stuff. And I'm trying to show some crazy thing. You know, I, I ain't showing you hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month of just a couple of people. Oh, yeah. No, like these are these are like average cases, you know, 20, 25, 30 grand a month, 40 grand a month. Like, not bad. Oh, yeah. What do you got to lose? You're 16 years old right now working at McDonald's. Like, what do you have to lose to make 40 grand this month? And it costs no money at all. What do you have? This isn't no MLM scheme. Okay. This ain't no stupid scheme that you're going to go out here and you got to give me a thousand dollars and they'll give you a packet, sell it to your mom, sell it to your brother. And then, and then you sell it to that person for five grand. That, that ain't that stupid. That's not what I'm doing. This is making a life of your dreams right now. This is doing exactly what you need to do. So let's kind of break down exactly what you got to do, what you have to do, like exactly what you have to do. So let's talk about it. First and foremost, we're looking to get in wholesaling real estate. We don't want to start making a change. We don't start getting rich. We start getting successful. What do we do? Number one, we have to make mistakes. But we're going to have to make mistakes that don't make us broke. And so understanding this concept first and foremost to make 10 grand a month, you are going to mess up. You are going to fail in wholesaling. I uh, made a post today on Instagram. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, I saw this and I posted it. It's basically uh, mil the word million has two L's on it. So you should be taking two big L's in your life before you make a million dollars. And that's frankly true for anything, right? And so you are going to take L's. You are going to take losses. You are going to make mistakes. You are going to fail miserably. Bad things will happen. Hopefully not too bad, but not the best things sometimes happen. And so we have to ask ourselves, Am I accept, do, can I accept for myself to have some failures along the way? And if, if you are somebody that is not willing to accept a failure happening, if you are not somebody that is willing to accept something bad's going to happen in wholesaling, not, not like life threatening or terrible, but like you can get cursed out. You're going to lose out some deals, like average business stuff. If you are not willing to take any strife or, or, or struggle, you are going to lose you're going to be broke. You're not going to make the money of your dreams. You're not going to do well. And so you have to make mistakes. But the point here is to make mistakes that won't make you broke. And so making mistakes when you have no money at all, when you have really nothing to lose, this is your time. Uh, another analogy I can give to you is like, if you are 17 years old right now, it's like, I mean, I, I started at 17 it's a lot easier at 17 years old to start wholesaling real estate to try to make 40 grand a month than it is doing it at 54 with three kids and a mortgage and a wife. Okay. There's a lot more to lose if this wholesaling thing doesn't go well and you go all in, right? Everyone knows that there's, there's a lot more to lose here. And so it is better to grind it out. It is better to actually go out here and do the struggle, the strife, the, the business when you're young versus not when you're not young, right? And so that's why look at every big entrepreneur outside of like Ray Kroc, maybe, right? They were pretty much all single young men uh, and women that started their business. And they got married and kids and all that stuff after. Because statistically, your best shot of creating a successful business is before you have the job, the struggle and all these things, right? And there's guys like Jeff Bezos had a job, he quit and then he does. I, there's, there's examples like that. For most examples, it's do it before the risk is crazy. And so that, that's my first you know, tidbit for anyone looking to get started in wholesaling. You don't have to go out here and, and, and spend a lot of money or take loans. It's just, it drives me crazy. It, it, it literally drives me nuts that people tell you to go, go out here and, and take a loan out to start wholesaling. This ain't the thing to do. So how do we get started? 10 grand a month. What's the plan, right? Number two here. The best way to make 
money in wholesaling is just to do the marketing that you can do. And what I mean by this is it's not some crazy philosophical uh, quote that I'm telling you, but like think about all the marketing lists and channels and whatever you can, whatever you can do, do it. So I get a lot of people saying, oh, I can't start because I, I don't have a car yet. It's, just focus on what you can do. You can pull a government list. You can go get some free skip tracing and call these people up and get a wholesaling deal. Like you can do that. You can cold call. You have a lisp or you, you feel like you can't call, go text. Like there's so many things you can do. The possibilities are basically end, endless for us to become successful or really get our start in wholesaling real estate that, and you all can start doing this. It, it, the, the dang question is why aren't you, doing it now. And really the people I talk to that get their start in wholesaling and then they, it, it takes them forever and they, they can't get that success. It's all because they're just not doing what they can do. And so if you can't run, walk, and if you can't walk, crawl. And many people, I can't run, so I'm not going to crawl. It's just at least doing some marketing is better than no marketing at all. And the lifeline, the heartbeat, the blood, the, the oxygen of a wholesaling real estate business is the marketing. Without the marketing, you're not feeding the business. And the example that I, that, that I give to a lot of people is wholesaling real estate is like a little puppy. And what I mean by this is if you don't feed the puppy, the puppy's going to die. And a lot of people, this is a weird analogy, but it's like some of you guys will get the puppy and be like, oh, I'm going to feed it once a week. It's like, it's not good. I'll give it water every month. And then the puppy dies. And you're like, oh, why did the puppy die? I fed it once a month. You sound like a crazy person. You'll go to jail for doing that. Should not be doing that. Disclaimer. You, you got to feed the puppy every day. You got to give it water every day. You got to give it scratches. got to love. And every single day you have to take care of the animal. Same exact thing with the wholesaling business. It's a living biological creature, basically, your wholesaling business. If you don't feed it every single day, it's not going to get leads. It's not going to get deals. And you are not going to sell those deals and make your assignment fees and your profits. You are frankly doomed. So it's just like, what are you going to do, right? And so the best way to make money right now in wholesaling real estate is just feed the puppy. Whatever scraps you can get by, whatever type of food you can give the puppy, just feed it. Just do something. Just do it. Don't do it once a week. Don't do it twice every day. If you show up every single day, you'll do it. You know, I, I love talking to uh, plus-sized people. That's the best way I can uh, say this. And I'm not saying this in a bad way. I'm not trying to cause any controversy, but like, look at me. I, 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 I know skinny. I don't miss no meals. You know, this, I consistently show up every single day and eat food because I like eating. Right. There's people that'll tell me, Oh, Zach, I can't consistently cold call. And you know, they're, they're bigger guys, right? Maybe they're bodybuilders, right? That's let's call them bodybuilders. They're bulking. <laughs> and they'll tell me that they can't consistently, uh, wholesale. And I'm like, well, you consistently eat dinner every night. He's like, yeah, I do. I'm like, why do you eat dinner every night, but you don't cold call? He's like, what do you mean? And so I, I've put a lot of men and women on the spot here, mostly men, um, for this. It's like people tell me like, Zach, I can't consistently cold call every day. I just don't have the time. And I'm like, well, you have the time to go get a Big Mac tonight. And I'm not saying this to offend anyone, but it's like, why do you go and eat the Big Mac tonight? Tell me, wh why did you get a burger tonight to eat? Because I was hungry. True. I, that's true though, right? So like you hungry, you get hunger pains, you feel that hunger and to quench that hunger, you go and eat food and you feel better. If you didn't have that, you, you wouldn't eat any food and you, you wouldn't survive. That's how human beings will work, right? But here's the thing. Whole thing is the same way. You have to have a hunger for not being broke anymore. You have to have a hunger for getting a deal. You have to have a hunger for getting a 25, 30, 40, $50,000 check. And if you do not have that hunger, a literal hunger pain, when I was 17 years old, I had a hunger pain in my brain, not my stomach, of I need to get rich. I'm not going to be a broke bag boy the rest of my life. I'm not going to be a, a manager making 50 grand a year working 80 hours a week. This is not going to be my stinking life. I get two vacation weeks every single year. That's my life. That is not my life. That is not who I'm going to be. I have a hunger, a pain in my heart to become successful. And I will do anything to get that check, that food, anything. You, you, what is scarier if you get in front of an angry lion or a full lion, a lion that just had a fat meal and it's not hungry anymore, that thing ain't going to mess you up. 
But a hungry lion, oh boy, you do not want to get in front of a hungry lion. Why? Because it's hungry. It's got a hunger pain. The only thing that's going to stop it is getting some food, right? And so, fun fact, sharks actually, that uh, it's called grenolin. Grenolin is the uh, hormone or the uh, chemical that animals have and humans that is like their hunger chemical. And basically, when you eat a lot of food, the, the hormone goes down because you ate, right? Your stomach's full. Sharks actually have this thing where the hormone never stops. And whatever amount of food they eat, they're always hungry. And so you got to be like a shark too. Like you can eat a full food, you're still hungry, just like a shark, right? And so what I mean by this is you, you have to want it. You have to have a hunger pain. And I, I know plenty of people watching this have a hunger pain in their heart right now, in, in, their, in their stomach to keep it going. If you don't have it, you ain't going to get rich. And so to become successful, to start making money, you have to have this hunger. And this kind of brings to the next part of going out here and getting rich, becoming successful, making money. You have to choose your pain. There's two types of pains here in wholesaling that I talk about. And they're not friendly. They're, they're not friendly talks. They're not friendly pains, but they are necessary pains. Now, one lesson in life, and I, I, I will always talk about this, but you know, in, in life, pain is inevitable. Pain and suffering is a part of being alive. And that, that is, that there's more beauty than pain. And that's why you, everyone should be alive, right? Choose life. But because you have to go through pain and suffering in life, does that mean it's not worth living? Life is always worth living, especially during the hardships and circumstances you are going to face. Okay. If you're a rich man, you're a poor man, you will go through pain and suffering. That is just being a human being one-on-one. There's many people that try to avoid that fact of life. It's a fact of life. Every single human being pretty much has gone through some sort of pain and suffering. You are not an exception. So knowing that life does have pain and suffering in it, does that mean if we have to take a little more pain and suffering, that's going to make our life? No. Okay. Most people, and I don't want to say this in the meanest way possible, but this is just from my experience in, in life. They know they go through pain and suffering. They know things suck, but they don't ever deal with it unless they have to, unless it actually happens right now to them. They'll know they have a pain and suffering in five years from now, but you know, I don't want to deal with that right now. Blinders, I don't want to see it. And so knowing how to prevent that's always a good thing. And so knowing in wholesaling that there's going to be pain and suffering involved, to be afraid of it is cowardly in my opinion. To be afraid of the suffering and pain of talking to a seller or cold calling, and getting, there's going to be pain. You're going to be nervous. But to avoid that nervous feeling, you're going to have to go through it. So get through it. Get through it. It's like if you know you have to jump in an ice bath, it's like just sitting there waiting for it is going to be way worse, all right? And so there's a um, there's a funny skit from uh, How I Met Your Mother, an old TV show, uh, where basically um, they had this punch rule. Um, and it was kind of it was funny. But basically uh, they had a thing where you can either get punched in the face now or at the other guy's choosing – he can punch you at any time, whenever he wants, only once for the year. And obviously the choice is just punch me now straight to my face right now. Let's get this over with. Then the anxiety of punching. And so like, you know, during the skit, you know, the guy's like walking, it's July 4th. He goes, Ooh, and he cocks it back and the guy flinches. He's like, I'm not going to punch you. I'm just stretching. And it's the anxiety of knowing that you're going to get punched one, the one time this year randomly is worse than the actual getting punched in the face, right? Um, you know, it, many philosophers have said this quote, but you know, it's more people suffer in their thoughts than re in reality. And this is the truth. And so knowing that it's going to suck to cold call, knowing it's going to suck to actually start this business, it's better just to kind of get punched right now in the beginning than it is the suffering of when it's going to happen or if it's going to happen at all. And, and so you have to choose your pain. Choose the pain of being broke the rest of your life or the pain of getting started, talking to sellers, being nervous, and then getting rich and successful at the end. They're both painful. Having a life of being broke, it's easier in the beginning because you don't have to do the cold calling and the, and the struggle, and then it's hard the rest of your life. Or you choose to have it easy in the beginning of your life and then have the suffering at the end. Uh, or have the suffering in the beginning and then you know, there's no suffering at the end if you get rich and successful. So the pain is always an easier choice to have it in the front. That's what I tell everyone. Choose right now to do it. it. Drives me crazy. And so we have to choose a pain now. You know, 
especially in wholesaling, right? Let, let, let's talk about not like the work or the, but like just in general, this business, either you're going to have pain from your wallet or you're going to have to pain from your work. And what I mean by this is, you know, I always teach about how to wholesale real estate with no money because most people have no money starting out. Like that's what, duh, that's why I'm getting started in wholesaling because I got no money, right? But there are paid tools we can do, right? There's softwares and things like, so like you can choose. And the reason I'm saying this for a reason, there's pain in the beginning in wholesaling where yes, your wallet's going to hurt if you have to pay money to get started in this business, or there's going to be a pain from you from actually cold calling yourself. So we can pay people cold call, we can pay a skip trace list and, and pay for all this stuff. And it's nice and fancy. And I, I will not lie to you. It does make wholesaling easier to pay for, for some of these things up front. And then there's pain from actually doing it yourself. And I will tell you that because you are not paying pain from your wallet and you decide to wholesale by yourself, don't expect for it to be an easy ride. Because you are kind of taking the the way the freeway, there is going to be pain associated with this. And yes, because you're not paying, there's going to be some pain. On top of that too, there's not really going to be pain from doing the work when you pay for it, but there's going to be pain up front when it comes to spending the money. So just understanding that, it will definitely make your life a lot easier. Okay. It, it will make your life easier. And so number four here, find a time that you can allocate per week in wholesaling. And what I'll tell you is to try a three, one, one split. And so you might be like, Zach, what's a three, one, one split, right? And so what you can tell most wholesalers is just find time, find whatever time you have. And is it 10 hours a week for wholesaling? Like, how many hours per week can you allocate to wholesaling real estate? Can you allocate 10 hours a week? Can you allocate 15 hours a week? Like what can you allocate per week for wholesaling real estate? I would say for most wholesalers, you know, I, I would like for you to do 10, 15 hours a week, maybe. Uh, that's probably what I prefer, but ultimately it's up to you. Uh, but find out where you can allocate. I'll tell you on a 3 one, one split, you should be, if it's, let's say, for example, you have 15 hours you can put in wholesaling, okay? You'll have a 9-3-3 three, three split. And what I mean by that is a 3 one, one split is three hours towards marketing, one hour towards acquisitions and list polling and all this stuff, and then one hour towards dispositions, cash buyers, and getting your deal sold. And so that basically means for every 15 hours, you're going to spend about nine hours on the marketing side, cold calling, texting, right? Trying for dollars, reverse trying for dollars. Then you're going to spend three hours out here actually doing your acquisitions. Uh, you're going to spend three hours on your dispositions, right? Not a bad split, but it is a split. Just giving everyone FYI on this. So this is a three, one, one split. So that, that's my rule. That is my daily schedule for wholesaling you should be doing, right? A 3-1-1 split. A 3-1-1 split is going to work really well for you and definitely one that I highly recommend. Now, based on your budget, based on how much you can spend per month in marketing, basically how much you can spend your time with, uh, we're going to go and we're going to choose our methods or lists or channels. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to go from the least ROT, so the least return on time, to the best ROT. ROT on what we call free methods. I'm assuming you don't have too much money for wholesaling, right? And so what is ROT? ROT is return on time. And so what we're going to do is do activities that will give us the best return on time. So basically that means if I spend an hour doing this thing, it has the best return on investment of the time you spend, right? A lot of people look at investments as, you know, they look at money, but really a lot of it's on time. Because if you do five hours of this thing versus 20 hours and they both get the same results, do the five hours thing, right? You will actually make more money, get a better return on time uh, investment, and you'll actually end up making more money and doing way better. So return on time, big one here. So in order, all right, what is the best lists that we can market to that is going to give us our best return on time, return on investment of us putting in our hours in this business. Now, from best to worst, I'm going to tell you probates are going to be the best, followed by code violations, pre-foreclosures, the evictions list, the liens list, the arrest record lists, and the water shutoff lists. This is going to be 
in my opinion, the order of some of the best ways to get into wholesaling and start doing wholesaling real estate deals when it comes to lists. Here's the top lists, my favorite lists, and lists that I highly recommend for you to be doing right now. Now, you can choose what's going to be best for you, but honestly, this is going to be my favorite one. Uh, probates all the way down to water shutoffs. Now, what are the best marketing channels to go get wholesaling real estate deals, right? Now, in order, from my opinion, I'm going to tell you that digital bandit signs are going to be your best return on time uh, things. Because really, if you use the AI, use those tools, it should take you five, 10 minutes to make all your posts for the day. Like it's, it's, it's really not that much work, guys. Like digital bandit signs are in, insane right now. And they always have been. And not a lot of people talk about digital bandit signs. And ugh, I love, <laughs> trust me, I love digital bandit signs. It's not a bad strategy to be doing. And so I would say digital bandit signs are going to be really good. I love SMS text blasting. If you're not SMS text blasting, you're definitely uh, sorely mistaken right now. I would SMS text blast like crazy. Uh, just sending text out from your phone. Uh, those work really well. And then we have cold calling, which is going to be the art of calling motivated sellers. Now, cold calling is probably the best one out of this one. You probably, oh, this is actually talking about cold calling. I talk about because it, it works. You see these checks. Majority of these people are cold calling. They actually get the results. Drawing for dollars partner method, just finding partners to drive for dollars for you if you're doing it virtually. And then virtual drawing for dollars. It's like kind of using the Google Maps feature, right? That's a it's another banger way to get wholesaling real estate deals. And then really all I have to do here is just make a plan and stick to it. I cannot stress this enough. Make a plan and stick to it. So discipline is going to be one of the biggest ways for us to get freedom in wholesaling. It's one of the best ways for us to actually become successful. And the best way to actually create discipline in your life is by making a plan. And so I'm recommending for everyone, I am urging everybody to go out here and make a plan. Seriously. Go out here and say, hey, if I have 15 hours, I got nine hours for marketing, three hours for acquisitions, three hours for dispositions. What is my nine hours over the next six days going to be? Maybe an hour and a half. So 5 to 6.30 p.m., I'm going to cold call. Monday through Friday. Perfect. But here's the set. Any, any Joe Schmo can go out here and make a plan, Right. It's the guys and gals that stick to the plan that actually do well. And so you have to make the plan and then you need to stick to the plan. And this is the hardest part, sticking to the plan. This is where 80% of the struggle is for most people. Just make the plan and show up every single day and do it. You'll eat dinner every night. Go and cold call every night, right? Just show up and do what you got to do every single day. And I promise you, the results will follow. Okay? It works. Get to deals. Get to rich. You got to start doing it. And so also on top of this too, you know, I, I'm not the, I, I know I'm the guy who tells you to grind, go work hard, do the things you got to do, right? I, I am. But I'm also the guy that's going to tell you to work smarter, not harder for a lot of things. Why do you think I'm telling you government lists? Because, oh, no, I'm telling you to government list because it's a method of working smarter, not harder in wholesaling real estate. Yes, it's going to be a lot more work uh, doing it with no money than with money. But you got no money. Like, you got no cash. Like, what, what, what are we going to do here, guys? Seriously, add tools to help you out. And so what are my favorite free tools right now in wholesaling? Again, Podio is amazing one. Google, the Google's own dialer. So Google voice is amazing. Cyber background checks is one of the best skip tracing platforms I've found right now. Facebook, you can find Facebook deals, buyers, all these things. Facebook is amazing. And then using any AI software, chat, GBT. I love Gemini AI. We have it for realism.com. Entire AI section on how to use AI and get wholesaling deals, right? It's basically a no brainer to become successful using AI. Problem is a lot of you guys aren't doing it. it tries me nuts. Just got to do it. I'm telling you. Now, pay tools. These are softwares that do help me a lot. I'll tell you that dmzac.com with the free unlimited skip tracing, the drawing for dollars app. Heck, their data is really good too. Love listrei.com. List uh, love zachdata.com. Zach Dialer. Paid Dialer always works. And there's a paid section of Podio. 
Uh, that works really, really well. And then one of my other methods I could tell you of to become successful, I know this sounds crazy, but this is kind of, <laughs> I'm just being honest, like this is one of my number one new ways that I tell people of like, what should I do? Oh, what should I do? What should I, I have a problem, Zach. What should I do here? I get all this. And so I'm just saying WWZD. And what I mean by this, right? I don't know the sacrilegious to say, but like, you know, one of the biggest sayings in like the last decade was like WWJD, right? And it, it sounded for like, what would Jesus do, right? And it was a kind of a, it was kind of a moniker of just like, well, you know, in, in, in some religious churches, like this guy is someone we look up to. What would this person do in this situation? Then you're supposed to do what they do, right? And so you can do whatever, like, is that right? So like, if you love boxing, it's like, what would Mike Tyson do? And then you do that, right? And, and so I'm not comparing myself to Jesus, uh, uh, no. But like, what, what I'm saying is, if you're in a situation in wholesaling real estate, and talk to a guy that's done over 2,000 wholesaling deals, and you run in a situation where someone calls you a, basically a, a copper, a copper, a copper weighted penny pension snob poopy head. I don't know. Something stupid, right? What would you do? Some people cry, but like, what would Zach do? Should I, what would Zach do in this situation? Zach would probably laugh it off and say, well, you're lost. Just go on the next one, right? And so I think a lot of people need that of just like, what would Zach do in this whole sling situation? I honestly just go to the next one. Like I don't really care, right? Now, what I do if some seller wants to get out of the deal, what would Zach do? Well, Zach clearly says in the course of once gets out, try to save the deal, right? And so just if you watch enough of my live streams and you've seen enough of my live deals and my cold calling and my live cold calls and see what I do in my scripts and methods, on these, you'll know that in tough, weird situations, there's pretty basic things I do and I already have it set out in the course. And you know, I change it sometimes based on the on times and if something changes, but like pretty much keep it the same. Always keep it hundred with you guys. So like, what would I do? Think about it. Like I'm, I know I'm crazy. I, I am absolutely mentally out of my mind, but I make a lot of money wholesaling. So you gotta take the good, the bad sometimes. And so you just gotta understand, you know, I have the most checks people getting their first deal in wholesaling from me and Rick. We have the most testimonials, not because I'm the handsomest guy in the world, not because I have the sexiest voice, but because what I say works. And I used to be like, what I say works because I make all this money wholesaling. And after 2,000 wholesaling deals, I don't think I have to go tell anyone and prove anything to anyone anymore. But what I can do is show you, like, it's not just me. You know, it's not just it worked for me. It works for everyone else, right? And so if what I'm doing has caused more success stories in wholesaling than anyone else in the history of wholesaling real estate, I should maybe I should try it. Just, I'm just, just try it. You're spending no money with me. Right, just try it and go go change your life, man. That's all I could say. And you know, one example is I I, I am your cuss de motto, um, and I probably butchered that name, but that was um, Mike Tyson's trainer that kind of took him in. I think at twelve or thirteen years old, and really made him one of the best boxers in the history of the sport. And what I mean by this is, if Mike Tyson never met cuss de motto, or he never met someone else, or he, he met with the wrong crowd, he would never be who he was today. He had an excellent trainer. He had someone that knew what he was talking about and was the right fit for him to mold him into who he needed to be. Here's the thing. Customato was not as good as Mike Tyson when he was boxing because Customato, when he trains Mike Tyson, the, the glory, the wins, the benefits do not all go to him. It goes to Mike Tyson because he's the one that ultimately did the boxing because once you're in the ring, it goes ding, ding. I don't care who trainer is behind you. I don't care any of this stuff. It's, it's you versus the other man. And whatever happens, it ultimately ends up to, if you get knocked out, it's your fault. If you win, it's your fault. It's not the trainer's fault. It's the trainer can help you. The trainer gives you some guidance. The can, trainer can help you in the best of their ability to get to that point. But it's ultimately up to you. And so I, can't make you into a Mike Tyson. I, by myself, can't make you into another Zach or Rick Ginn. I can do my best to bring you to the best version of yourself, but it's ultimately up to you for you to become that version of yourself. And some people have it in them to train and become a Mike Tyson, and some people just don't. 
Some of the best boxing trainers in the world have sucky boxers. Is it because the trainer sucks? A lot of times the info is great, but just you've chosen to not work as hard or become that successful or have that beast inside of you. That's perfectly okay. But do you even know who Conor McGregor's trainer is? It's like, yeah, the guy helped a lot, but Conor McGregor's Conor McGregor because Conor McGregor is Conor McGregor. All right. Like it's, it's him. All right. It's him. Floyd Mayweather's dad, who is amazing boxer and trainer. He trained Floyd Mayweather, but is it because of only Floyd Mayweather's dad is because he's why he's so good? No. I, yeah, his dad had a huge part in it, but it didn't make him into who he was. It, it took him to actually be that him. Okay. So me, the trainer, the educator, the mentor, whatever you want to call it, I can help you. I can bring you to the point where you need to be. But ultimately, it takes you. It literally takes you to be to that point. All right. That's it. And so at the end of the day in wholesaling real estate, the blame, the suffering, the embarrassment from not getting a deal, it goes to you. It doesn't go to me. It, it goes to you. But on the opposite end, the rewards, the glory go to you and not me. I don't get the check at the end of the day. I don't get the benefit of doing 10 deals. That guy that did $40,000 $40, this month, whole learning for me, I, I don't get the glory of that. I don't get the check. I don't get the money unless we JV'd. Um, I don't. I think I did an eighty thousand dollars JV deal last week. Um, checks were a little smaller, unfortunately. Uh, I, I, my average deal in eighty get eighty k, uh, but volume speaks for itself. The glory goes to you, and so yes, I'll go show you these people are doing well. Maybe I'm a good trainer. You should listen to me, but like the glory goes to them, the benefit goes to them. Okay, and so the truth is, I can bring you to the point where you need to be at ten k a month. Like I can help you out, but it's ultimately up to you to show up every single day and be consistent. I cannot turn you into a Mike Tyson. You must choose to become a Mike Tyson. You must choose to become yourself. And so understanding this, you're not going to be a Zach Ginn. You're going to be who you are. If you're a John Smith, become the best version of John Smith. You're probably wholesale a little differently than me, right? Mike Tyson boxes a little different than Cus uh, Cus Tomato did it, right? Because he's a whole separate individual. You and only you can be the beacon of your success, the vessel of your success. I can help you out. I can give you the best guidance I can. But ultimately, it's up to you when the when the bell rings in the ring with your gloves to beat the other person up or get knocked out. It's up to you. So guys, I, I can help you out best I can. But the truth is, it ultimately comes down to you. So if you want to become successful, you become merchant wholesaling, I do have a wholesaling course. Pretty much everyone that does become successful in wholesaling real estate goes to the course. It's called freewholesaling.com. It's where I'll teach you how to wholesale real estate absolutely for free. Pay no money to become successful. Make sure you go to freewholesaling.com and learn how to do it. And uh, yeah, talk about wholesaling real estate and how it'll help you out and make you the best wholesaler possible. So uh, let's answer some questions. Let's do some one-on-ones too uh, if you want. And uh, we'll get it going. So uh, let me get the stream my link for everyone and uh, get it going. So boom. All right, let's get it. Let's see what questions we got. Uh, first question goes to Zach Bro. Zach with a K, not an H. We're not starting off good right now, but uh, let's see how the rest of this goes. Um, Zach Bro, I used to be terrified of talking to sellers on the phone, and it's crazy how now I enjoy them face-to-face -face now. I don't even like talking to the phone. I go meet them every time. Meeting people face-to-face -face is a different conversation than over the phone, but you'll find out you're getting nervous starting out. But ultimately, it gets easier. It's it's like practice, you know. I get I get a lot of wholesalers that are like top tier Fortnite players, like the best Fortnite Call of Duty players in the world, right? And they come to me and say, "Zach, I'm so nervous. I'm not good at cold calling. How do I get cold calling really fast? How do I get really good really fast? Right? Oh, wah 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 wah." It's like, okay, you just got like 30 victory royales this week, right? He's like, yeah. Like, I've gotten one, personally, I've gotten one victory royale on a solo on Fortnite my entire life. And I played Fortnite for like a year and a half, you know, in high school, right? Um, when I was like, I think 15, 16, right? Um, so like, you know, before I even got a whole song, I played a lot of Fortnite, a little bit in college, right? Um, just with my roommates. And like, I played a lot of games, I guess, but like I only got one win, one solo dub win. And so it's like, 
you're way better than me at Fortnite. Why do you think that? Oh, because I spend more time than you on it. Whoa. Okay. How, how much more time do you think I have to spend playing Fortnite than you to become better? And you're like, oh, if you should probably spend an extra couple hours every single day, eventually you'd be better than me. Well how, well, well, how do I become better than you in the next hour? That's not possible. Okay. How do we become better than you in the next week? That's not possible. Huh. So if I gave you unrealistic expectations, why are you trying to push that onto me? Especially when it comes to making 40 grand a month, right? And here's the thing. In a month, you can make 40 grand wholesaling houses. I can't be better than you in Fortnite. And, and so it's like, did you start out? Did you suck at Fortnite? Oh, I, I was terrible. Then I got better. Same concept for wholesaling, guys. Same stinking concept. You just got to start doing it, and the results will always follow. Drives me crazy. Let's see here. People want to be lions till it's time to hunt. That, that's funny. <laughs> I love that stuff. Uh, is there an Ozempic for wholesaling? Um, not really. Even like even with me making millions of dollars wholesaling real estate, like I always want more. But like my my goals have shifted. Like if I just wanted to become a millionaire, I'd already be done. You know, I've got plenty of money coming in from all the rentals and passive income. It's like I don't really call it passive, but like you know, you got managers and stuff. I, I will tell you that like. If I just did it for the money, I'd be probably out in wholesaling. Right? I, I, why, why? Right? I shut down all the channels. I'd, I'd go live MIA and just live the rest of my life on a cruise ship or something nice. Right? Play on a nice big fat sailboat cruising the, the the Caribbean. Right? But I do it because I'm here to make an impact and to make a change. So a lot more lives I think I I can change. And, and heck, what's the point of retiring at 24? I, I think it's kind of stupid, you know. Uh, a lot of people say they want to retire till 24. I've taken three week vacations. It just ugh, sucks. I'd rather go out here and get it. I'd rather her change lives and everything like that. Not be greedy, obviously, but there's a lot more to this business that I wanted to make an impact for. And the best way for me to start keep flexing on gurus, making more money than them. And the only way I can flex on a guru is to make more money than them, you know? So I gotta gotta keep that up. At 24, if I give another another 50, 60 years in wholesaling. I can make a lot more money than all of them. Let's see here. <laughs> Are we going to still live stream in 50 years? I have no idea. Maybe, maybe it's probably going to be like a, it's probably going to be like an, a, a VR thing. And you guys are going to like, it's going to be like, you're actually seeing me. You probably don't want to see me screaming in a studio. That, that sound weird. Uh, oh Lord, I'm glad I have no neighbors. If, if I had neighbors, they'd be like, ah, oh, drive me crazy. Um, fun fact, every single time I used to uh, live stream in a hotel room when I was traveling, I'd always have the neighbors knock on my door. That's why I don't have any neighbors. They would literally knock on my door and be like, can you shut the <laughs> up? It's 11 o'clock at night. Why are you screaming? I'm like, I'm talking about wholesaling, man. It's so funny. But uh, all right, let's do some uh, one-on-ones, guys. If you can go out here and uh, talk to me, let me get a streamer link. And uh, let's talk all things wholesaling real estate. So uh, let's get it going. Uh, Eugene, what's up, man? Hey, Zach. How are you doing? I'm blessed. How are you? I'm doing all right. Uh, so, Are you sick? Uh, a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm still wholesaling, though. I'm still making my calls, of course. <laughs> there we go. All right. Yeah. Let's get it going. So what's going on? Uh, yeah, so uh, we talked... Uh, I don't even know how long, like five, six weeks about digital bandit signs. Um, so I started posting digital bandit signs uh, like nonstop every day. I posted a bunch and I got like one guy, which was like a buyer, which was trying to flip a property, trying to sell to me. And then another guy was just asking me like, like, yo, can you teach me how to buy houses, which I don't really, you know, I'm not really teaching, trying to teach that. But so in conclusion, I didn't get that many results in the first like two months ish. But the problem now is 
I posted so much that my uh, Craigslist account, like it, like I post and it gets removed 20 minutes later. So I keep posting and posting like 10 posts an hour and it just keeps getting removed. I tried making a new account, same thing. I tried using a VPN, same thing every 20 minutes, like 15, 20 minutes. It, it's removed all like all the time. Okay. So. Want me to cry with you? No, like I'm trying to. What do you want me to do? Like what? What? What's the next step if I can't post digital bandit signs on Craigslist? Oh, you you can't post them. Yeah, they they keep getting deleted. Okay. Do you think it's your ad copy at all, or do you think it's just your IPN? Um, I would. I definitely the. I I tried posting. It's your... uh, that's what I tried testing out, and I I took a pair of glasses and i posted it on craigslist to see if it'll get taken down and it got taken down like right away so it's definitely not only the ad copies my my whole thing is down How many different craigslist accounts do you have so originally i just had one and then i made i think like two more and then they both didn't work okay and how many so you made three with vpn oh, so one was the original one Second one, I just tried it without the VPN, and the third one, I tried with a VPN, and it's still. Which so did you post it with a VPN, then logged out, and then logged back in? I'm trying to understand because VPNs can get very weird if you do it wrong. So I turn the VPN on. I go on the Craigslist app. I post it, and then I just leave. And then back when when I get back on the Craigslist app, I make sure the VPN is on. Okay, I'm gonna give you a crazy thought. Do you live by yourself? No. Do you live with a mom or dad? I live with my mom and my sister. Does she have a computer? Uh, she has a phone. Have her make a Craigslist on it and then try it on hers and see if that gets taken down. I have an old phone, my old phone. You think it'll work try on that? that? I, th I think it's your um, IPN address. Yeah, that's I, I read like some of the rules and terms and conditions, or whatever, on Craigslist, and it said that you could get or like on Reddit, it's like you get IP. How many times are you posting? A lot, because they were how getting taken. They, they were they were getting taken down originally. Uh, after like after like an hour, so I kept posting. Eugene, how many? I would say about about ten an hour. Yeah, you ten every hour, hour, and hour and a half. You, you deserve to be booted, dude. Sorry, you deserve to be booted. So new, new uh, so I'm just being on. You, you, no, yeah. ten posts an hour, you can get booted, man. It's 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 pretty. It's 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 if it's a different city, sometimes you can get away with it. You're going to have to do two a day. That's the most now. Okay, even if they both get taken down, just yes. Do a day. So you have That's to right. test out your ad copies. If you have a bad ad copy and you keep spamming the same ad copy, you're going to get booted off really quick. Same thing with texting, man. Yeah, if you do more than the five per hour per line, you're going to get booted too. So your IP address <laughs> just got flagged and uh, you got to use a different one and test it out. Now the VPN is interesting, but most likely you try to very similar ad copy and it's all associated with it. Maybe, yeah. Speaking of uh, text, my uh, same thing happened with my Google Voice. I sent, I didn't do five an hour. I did like three, like text an hour, just to be safe. Three, four maybe, mm -hmm. and it. I kept getting the message all oh, like your message. You, it couldn't be delivered in the red little text. And then I cold called like nonstop, like four hours a day, like a bunch of numbers. And I'm also, I'm pretty sure it also got like taken out because of that like i tried making a new account google voice account like you get a new number with my sim regular telephone number and it says like my number is blocked or my number i can't create a new account whatever but use your mom's number okay and just make a yeah. yeah i mean man i ain't gonna cry with you man we just got we just gotta pivot so use your mom's number and use one for texting, use one for calling. Most likely you probably overcalled it, which is fine. Uh, and then it just, it is 
over to the whole thing. So have one for texting, have one for calling. Yeah, because I'm using my my regular like it's a New York line. So if if someone's getting a call half across the country with the New York line, then I don't know they're they're kind of sus with that. I guess. Wait, I'm just using. I've I've had a few sellers like, oh, you're from New York. Why the hell are you calling me? And what do you say? Do you give up or do you give them a real? No, I don't. I don't. I've had it a few times. I'm I'm just I just say, look, my partner. Eugene, tell me, what do you do when people say that? Yeah, I'm. I say my partner is. I work with my partner around the area. My partner lives around the area. We buy houses together, and then they just one guy. The other lady's like, "Oh, this is a scam. This is a scam." I, she just keeps saying, "This is a scam. This is a scam." I'm trying to explain to her. So uh, mm-hmm. eventually, it doesn't really work out with those kind of sellers or people. Mm-hmm. Okay, so just FYI, if you just say, "Yeah." I do live in New York, but me and my partner are in this area, you should be fine. If someone yeah, calls you a scam, man, I don't give up. I don't make it. Oh, yeah, that's what I terrible. Said. If someone calls yeah. me a scam, I go to the next one, man. Yeah, of course, for sure. Uh, I don't for quit. Sure. So you can still call on your cell phone, man. Like even if it's from New York, dude, it's most it's the most common state someone moves to, most likely. So it's not yeah. that big of a deal. Yeah, but I feel like the response rates might be a little lower. Like okay, what's your response rates? rate? What's your response rate? So I said you feel. Sorry. What's your response rate? Okay, so it's so I just uh, changed my market. So this past week, I've had like so I called for four hours, which was nonstop calling, dialing, and I got two contacts. The other day, I got like four. It was really crappy. But then bef- the week before that, I got like eight contacts 10 contacts in the four hours so it kind of varies but i'm just trying out this this new market which you suggested you're getting two two contacts per hour no in four hours i think it was this monday i got like eight and four hours you said yeah two contacts maybe three two contacts per hour in four hours so for four hours of calling i got two contacts Every two hours, you got one contact, and you think that's no- – dude. Wh- what? That's really bad. Yeah. I called so on call – for four hours straight, and you're like, this is fine. This is chill. I got two contacts today. Definitely not. Definitely not. On Friday, I got like – I think it was – If eight. I don't get a contact in 15 minutes, I'm out. Sorry, can you repeat that? If I don't get contact in 15 minutes, I'm out, man. That's really bad, dude. What do you mean by out? Like, Okay. <coughs> if I'm cold calling on a dialer, I want to get at least 30 contacts in in an hour. And that's assuming I have a couple yeses and I can have a, like a five-minute conversation with a couple of those people. Now, you should hopefully get to 40 or 50 with a triple line dialer. Divide that by three. 50 divided by three, you're going to be at, what is it, 15 an hour maybe, 14? Like, you should get people picking up, bro. Yeah, Are you using I, a Google uh, voice? Well, currently I'm using my regular cell, but that's really a problem. What skip tracing are you using? Uh, DM, Deal Machine, and Cyber Background. I use both. I, I mean... I... I don't have to tell you, man, because I'll use my personal cell phone call off DMZ.com for buyers all day just to do it, and I'll get 15, 20. So either you're popping up a spam or we, we got to fix something here, man. That's really weird. We, we, we got to change that before anything else. Okay. So I would use your mom, your mom's number for Google Voice, not use your cell phone. If you're not 10 an hour, you don't be doing this. Okay. But how would that work if I'm using her cell phone number on the Google Voice, but I'm calling from it's my It's just phone. associated with it. That's it. You can have an app. Yeah. Is there, are there any other programs that are similar to Google Voice, like paid ones maybe? Yeah, CallRail's good. Um, CallRail and Vumberg. CallRail and Vumberg are going to be your best paid options. They, they work the same as Google Voice. You get a number. 
you can text and call for it. Yeah. Okay. I'll take call rail. Can you just switch them like that? Yeah, I might try that out because I had my old in the old market. I had a number and I got decent number of contacts. Not maybe not fifteen an hour, but it was definitely better than like one contact every two hours. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I, maybe that's you gotta change, man. I I am floored right now that you you thought it was chill out to get two contacts in and four. No, hours. I definitely I definitely did. you didn't start with that. We didn't we started that. That's the end thing of the conversation we're having, man. We gotta we we gotta switch to some things up, man. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not trying to be combative, okay. man. But like, well, there's some massive issues we need to change here because you are not going to make any change in your life if we keep this course going. So yeah. we got to change it up. Mm -hmm. So we gotta get a different number. We gotta test things out. <laughs> Heck. Even call the FISBOS for an hour and just see what your contact rate is. Okay, and what's a good contact rate for FISBOS? Let's do 15%. Let's do 10%. Mm -hmm. Okay, call 15 FISBOS an hour. All right, 20 an hour. Hopefully you get two. I don't know. Okay. You have really good skip tracing with DMZAC.com, so it's like <laughs> what? It's definitely your phone that's the issue here. So we gotta make a little change here. Yeah, for sure. Dang man, let's make I'll a change. At, yep. Also, I I'm sorry if I'm am I taking too long? You're. Or Dude, you I, got. I mean, what else do you want to talk about? Because I, I, I don't think there's much else to talk. We gotta change our phone numbers. What's your other question, man? I uh, it was about uh, it was about a code violation list that I called. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I called the the office the code violation office and they told me it's not available online but there's a list available at the actual office so i'm um, it's a virtual market so what would i i'm assuming i would find someone online that lives in that market and ask them to to get that yeah if you don't tell me the market then you're just gonna have to go find it uh it's my what's the county you need the county or the or the market or the city <laughs> The city it's in georgia okay you can go the plenty of people in georgia in the comments here and then in the facebook group they can work with mm -hmm. yeah because i've also been really interested in the, the uh reverse driving for dollars but like the half 50 50 like they do the driving i do the calls i'm interested in yeah, that do it, but... man. i'm doing a uh, big dry uh, virtual wholesaling three-day series tomorrow and um in the second part of the series, we'll really go deep dive into that. I think it'd be really interesting for you. It's a good, it's a good lead list, man. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so, I'm, I'll try. Change that. your numbers, man. Okay. Yeah, for sure. I appreciate right. it. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Point five contacts an hour. I'm gonna lose brain cells. Lordy, I'm having a nightmare tonight. That that's my average contact rate. Wow. So, I'm not mad at Eugene. I'm not upset at him. But like, I just want everyone to understand that like that's not normal. We should not be accepting that. Isaiah. Hey Zach, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, man. Um, I just want to say thank you so much, man. Um, your your guys' course is awesome. I <clears throat> really did change my life. I was stuck uh, trying to do the college stuff. Um, but I had a question about bandit signs. So. I um I had bought some the other week and I live in a in a local area. I know you know where Fresno's at up in California. I live about forty five minutes down from here. It's like a decent wholesaling market. It fits the criteria with the population and the average median. I don't want to hear about. Don't tell me what it is. Just okay, okay. Uh, One thousand people. Yeah, and then I put them out, but I didn't get any calls here. So I went up to Fresno and put them out. And I didn't get any calls this weekend either. I don't know if it's, it has anything to do with my location or it might not just be a good county to put them up in. It might not be. a Counties are uh, – bandit signs are always iffy, iffy, man. Um, I wouldn't use that as a basis if the market's good or not for wholesaling. Oh, no, no, no. I got, um, I got, I got a couple sellers interested in selling, and I actually had my first appointment last week. So I do feel that it's a good – Oh, point. okay. Um, they keep doing it, man. Why yeah. not? I, 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 man, I love it. Um, for, for some reason, um, reverse driving for dollars, it's just, it's a really good contact rate. 
some people are more suspicious. So I've kind of had better luck doing door knocking here. Um, being able to get in front of sellers is it's been uh, good. So I just think that's been good. And also, I was wondering if you knew how to pull uh, from the. I got a list of probates from the courthouse, but when I go to the property appraiser website. It doesn't let me search by name, but I have the case number. And I was confused on whether I was just pulling that up right, uh, wrong or would it be something that I have to pull in person? You should be able to do it all online. You should call and see. I can't screen share anymore on YouTube, unfortunately, about it. I used to do that, man. It's so sad. And um, but if you get the case number, you should get the information. They should have an address associated with it, especially with the state of California. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I thought. I, I I have been able to pull uh pull it in person. It's just sometimes I get off I get off work at three thirty and four. I'm not making excuses, but it's just it's, it's a it. time issue. But I hired someone to do it, so they got me a big old list of it. So okay, um, but yeah, uh, other than that, that's all I got though. All right, you know what to do, man. You're all getting right. a little success. Let's keep it going. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, Zach. Right, you keep it up. Oh, I'd like to see it. Good energy right there. Uh, Paul, what is up, man? Hey, how you doing there, Zach? I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, I actually saw, signed up for listrei.com a couple weeks ago and started practicing on searching up some deals, and I actually skip traced a few. There we go. Okay, we're practicing. Are we actually getting some work done? Uh, I haven't called anybody yet, but I actually did uh, do some cold emailing, and I sent out some postcards through listrei.com. I didn't get any responses yet, but I'm still trying. I live all the way in Buffalo, New York. Dude, Buffalo is a great market, man. Cool. You're in a you're in a good market, dude. Like that whole that whole area, man. Upstate, it's good, man. But okay, I'm proud of you. But we gotta start. Let, let, let's talk about this. There's a reason why you're not calling right now, right? Yeah, actually, uh, one of my friends in high school actually he actually has a uh, real estate investing course that I did about a year and a half ago. I tried cold calling and I got very nervous. Okay. But I figured What's I could maybe put you behind you. What? What's that poster behind you? Oh, that? Uh, oh, th this, that's just my window shade. No, the other one. Where? Your left. Oh, that's just a guy from a TV series called Renegade. That, that's Lorenzo Lamas. Okay. What, do, do you think he's cool? Yeah. Why is he cool? Because uh, he was really brave on Renegade. Like when people would try to beat him up, he would, always, he would be like, I'm going to take you on. That's cool, right? Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of guys like that I like. You know, I got I got stuff behind me. We got, well, we got Rengoku. We got Naruto. No, that's a Tachi Sasuke. I got people like that too. That like those guys are cool. They're brave. They're awesome. They beat people up, right? Right. But, they, but that stories. These stories were all people that used to be weak. They got stronger through practice and training, and then they got better, right? Right. Yeah. You got like if you want to be the same guy from Renegades, man, you got to do the same thing. Exactly. So yeah, yeah. you're gonna start. You're gonna start slower. Do you have it? Do you have any other characters you like? Like, like who's your favorite like TV or like video game, whatever characters? Uh, probably in uh, Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, it's the easiest one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah it used to be Baby Luigi, right? And then just get you get stronger and stronger, right? Yeah. Right? Another quick question. I know some of the people I skip trace are on the DNC list. I'm sure I could probably uh, SMS text them with Google Voice, right? Uh, yes, you can SMS text blast them. You can also technically call them. There's not any case law about, about about it bad for wholesaling but uh here's the thing man like you, you got to take the uh what's the flower called that makes you shoot the, the fire right you got to take some of those man or take the big mushroom like yeah. just being honest man you got to take the big mushroom so uh, it, it ain't nice to eat it but you gotta get big and strong so i'm telling you to get better at mar like dude this new uh what, what I forgot what the new uh, I was playing on a switch the other day, man. It, it's getting crazy, but like there's some levels, especially Bow Bowser's Castle that used to get hard for Mario. <laughs> I remember playing on the yeah. uh, even the N64. There, there's an old N64 game with uh, Mario. Uh, man, that game used to be hard, and you only get better by doing it. Right. Same thing for cold calling, man. Yeah. And so you gotta start doing it, man. I used to. Uh, Someone could tell me in the comments that N64 game used to go in like a mirror and then in the mirror you go, there's another dimension and it used to be so hard, dude. It used to be so hard, but you just practice and you get better at it. So man, you just got to practice. So like, I know you're nervous to cold call, man, but just start doing it and just, it's like a video game. It gets easier every single time, man. 
Yeah, I figure I could even maybe do some text blasting too with uh, some of the lists from uh, uh, listrei.com. I've actually been practicing list stacking. Okay, that's good, man. That always works, dude. Yeah, yeah. some of the ones I practice are failed leans and, or like failed listings combined with leans. There we go. So you're, you're in the lists, man. Like, yeah. you're like you know what you're doing. You just got to start doing the work, man. Yeah, even if I only get like 12 leads in a certain zip code. That's it. So let's, 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 let's do this. Okay. Okay. Hop on next week. Actually, I won't be here next week, but hop on uh live stream next Thursday. I want you to make 10 cold calls. Will you get in front of 10 sellers that say hello and have a conversation with them for me? Uh, I can, so not text blast, just to cold call 10 call. sellers. Okay. Call 10 sellers. Okay. Uh, you, usually I get out of work about 5 PM. So just call 10 sellers with my Google voice or any of my other, I have mm -hmm. a couple of other free apps. I'll give it a yeah. try. It's like, do you like Mario Kart? Uh, I never played that. You've never played Mario Kart? Nope. Dude, come on. Mario Kart's so fun. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's have, like you have play Mario Kart races, man. What? I don't have an N64. I just played the original Super Mario. No, they got Mario Kart on the Switch. All right. So I'll like, check it out sometime. So like, what I mean by this is like, after playing 10 games of Mario, you're better at the 10th game than you are at the first. Right. And saying the cold calling, man, I promise you, you will be better on the 10th call than you are on the first. Okay. And even if they don't answer, just that that means I still made 10 calls, right? You still made 10 calls, man. Awesome. And, and I, remember, I remember you said about feeding the dog. Dude, feed the dog. Hold on. Let me look at this. So what's that guy? What's that renegade guy's name called? Lorenzo Lamas. Lord of the Lamas? Oh, L Lorenzo Lamas. He played a guy named Reno Reigns. Lamas, Renegade. All right, let's look at this guy. Lorenzo Lamas. Okay. Reno Reigns. I used to have hair like that back in the day, like two oh, years yeah. ago. I've seen some of your videos like that. Yeah. The good days. Um, but yeah, this guy looks pretty gangster, man. So yeah. uh, it looks like he was running the motorcycle. You got to practice with that stuff. So uh, what I can tell you, man, go out here and just do 10. That's all I'm okay. telling you to do. Yep, and that's within the next two weeks, right? Just 10 cold calls. That's it. That's it, man. Like, dude, you, you literally have the biker jacket just like him. Yeah. You're literally like him. So be like him and make 10 calls and you got this, man. All right. Okay, cool. All right, Paul. Well, I'm going to see you and you got this, man. All right. Okay. I'll see you in two weeks. Thursday. So five Thursday. days. Thursday. Uh, what, what time Thursday? Cause I'm, I'm, a, I'm at work till uh, like nine to five on Thursday. Okay. Well, just um, hop on in two weeks then. Okay. Let's do 10. Okay. 10 in two weeks. Sounds like a plan, Zach. And I'll let you all know right. the results. Proud man. To, Keep I'm, it up. Hope, cool. Thanks. I'm hoping to JV with you. Let's do it. We got to make the calls, man. Yeah. Here we go, Paul. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate it. There we go. I'll check out the run, uh, Renault Reigns running It looks kind of cool. But, uh, guys, I love Mario Kart, man. If, if anyone's to smoke in Mario Kart, I, I will take you. I, I know to drift. I know to do all that stuff. I'm not, I'm not the best on it. But, like, what I'm trying to say is, like, yeah, a lot of people are nervous to get a call in. And I get I remember being starting out there, right? But like everyone has someone they look up to, even if it's like, especially as like a, as a guy, right. There's usually like a TV show or like a movie or video game. Like you look at like, that's the person that like I look up to. Right. And they're usually really cool people. And some people get like this person, that one, right. All this stuff. Right. And so the truth is most of those people always started out not being good. And then they just got better and better and better. And so, um, same thing, right. We got, we got all these type of things on here. Right. We got uh, we got like Aaron Yeager right here. I actually, eh, I don't want to talk to him. He, you know, was he a, is he a good guy, bad guy? We, we ain't getting into that. Um, but like, I mean, he definitely got better. Oh, <laughs> so what I can tell you guys is, wholesaling real estate's a game of attrition. It's a game of consistency, and it's a game. It's like a video game. You just get better every time you do it. Start doing it, you'll see the results. I promise you. Just keep going, and the results will always follow uh so uh let's see here tanya what is up hey zach oh my god i'm over here i have a really bad cold so excuse my voice oh geez i'm drinking so much cups of tea so i can get back on the phone tomorrow oh my goodness oh, but boy. nonetheless i'm sorry 
No so, worries. <laughs> so I'm actually, I, I have a probate deal that I'm working on. Um, the executor of the property, he has um, court on Tuesday. So I'm looking, I'm still working to find a buyer. Um, it's in uh, Toledo, Ohio. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> so that I'm working on that right now. Um, I'm going to follow up with him on Thursday at noon um, after the court. Um, cause he said the property has liens and violation. I, I actually spoken to you, uh, I think it was like two weeks ago. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get that under contract on Tuesday. And then, uh, today I actually went, uh, reverse driving for dollars and, um, I did about 40 in like three hours or so. Um, so I'm actually going to skip trace skip trace those uh tonight and then give them a call in the morning because i haven't gotten any any calls yet um on that and then i'm gonna have create an action plan like for seven days because i feel like i'm lacking like the discipline to follow a schedule like every day and submit offers i think mm -hmm. that that's my downfall um because yeah, I'm not I'm not submitting offers, so I feel like that's that's my downfall. And I'm calling people but not getting any leads. Okay. Well you got a pro <laughs> dealer. It was good. All right. So shout out okay. to you there. Um proud of you, even though you're sick, you're you're hopping on, you're, you're talking. So uh shout out to you there. We like that. But so you're saying you're not getting any leads from the calling. I mean, how many lists have you done in total? I've done like three three lists. I've done the uh, probates. I've done the pre foreclosures, and I did some fire uh, fire damage ones. Okay, and in the past seven days, how many calls have you made? Like daily, I would say about like 50, 50 to like seventy per day. Wow, and you know your contact rate? Um, <laughs> uh, like for example, like with fifty seventy, I'll get like maybe. 10 that that would answer if they like, okay, like they, okay now, now you give me like a maybe like do we do you actually have the numbers or not no no i don't have exact number no. No. Okay. the reason why i say that is for people that say you know who we got to count calories oh i'll, I'll eat two thousand guys and when you count it versus actually like measuring it out <laughs> excuse me there's big disparities it's okay don't worry i've been sick before and i promise you i will be sick again so uh, you know you're good you know um Unless you get it from me through the microphone, we're fine. So honestly, <laughs> I, 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 I think you should start tracking your data. And I think it will be a lot more clear because we got no <laughs> understanding. Let's, uh -huh. let's figure out how many contacts we're making. 60 to 70 per day is not a small amount. You're doing some work. So I would stop cold calling the pre-foreclosures. I don't think you're getting a lot of good contacts from that list, in my opinion. So let's start. Mm, Excuse me. Yeah, let, let's start calling. Let's start calling and just tracking the data and then seeing what we can be at from there and go from there. Is your issue that just no one's answering the phones? Or is the issue like no one's just wanting to sell the property? No one is wanting to sell the property. And then my, my question was also gonna be like, what list should I target to get a list? Like, I mean, to, to target to close a deal like in two weeks. So if you're doing if the Lucas County list. Okay, so if you're doing Lucas County in Ohio, where do you live right now? Well, no, I'm actually in Florida. So that one in Toledo is a virtual one that I did. Okay, we're in Florida. But, um, Marion County. But I actually did. Um, I went over. Oh, you live in Ocala? Yeah. Huh? Try for dollars. So I did that last week and I didn't get in any leads on those. Oh, no. Boo hoo. Keep going. And I went to, I went to Citrus, Citrus County. The county next no, 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 Marion County. Do Ocala. Stick to Ocala. It's Ocala. Okay. Stick to Ocala. If you want to get nuts, go up to Gainesville. Maybe do Alachua, the city of Alachua, right? Stick to Alachua County and Marion County, and that is it. Drive for dollars. Reverse drive for dollars. Stick to those. Okay. Okay. I will do that. <clears throat> Oh, and then really track my numbers. I, you, you know how many before. UF students I'm um, getting wholesaling deals right now that I'm teaching? A lot. Oh, a lot. And there's stupid kids going to frat <laughs> parties and not even taking this business seriously. And they're making 20 grand a month, okay? Yeah. You got this. Okay, okay. I'm going to reshift and do that. I'm like, if they could do it, I'm like, I need to put in a million times more work because I'm like, look. If, if I those idiots can, can you think about an idiot like me doing it. <laughs> 
I can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay. Correct. Yes. Okay. You got this. All right. Thank you so much, Zach. I appreciate it. So I'll follow up with you Thursday. I'll be back on Thursday and give you an update. Perfect. Well, I like it. I'm, I'm just telling you, I think you're in a really good market. I oh. think maybe you should start focusing on some of the buyers and seeing where they want to buy. But uh, you got this. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good night. I keep it up. And guess what? You know what? You're sick. You're hopping on. You don't make excuses. Mm. I like your attitude. If you keep this up, you'll do well. Appreciate it. My goal is let me at least to make a hundred thousand in the next three, four months. So I got I gotta crush it. You got this. Pay off this debt and just be more free. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let's get it going. Appreciate it. I like her attitude. I like the style. And I like you guys going out here and doing what you got to do. So, guys, if you learn how to wholesale real estate for free, go to fuelc.com, smash the like button, subscribe. Tomorrow on the Flipwork channel YouTube channel, we are doing our three-part virtual wholesaling series. Definitely check it out. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So, guys, check it out, and I'll see you soon. And uh, have a blessed one. This is Zach and signing out. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.